Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, my name is Lydia. Today I'm going to be reviewing 2D Musk by Al Rahab. So if you guys want to see this fragrance review, go ahead and stay tuned. <music> Now you guys, let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room here. The name is a little bit weird, especially if you say it fast. But when I tell you this fragrance smells amazing and it is extremely affordable, I thought that this fragrance would be something that you guys would really like to learn about and try out for yourselves. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the details of this fragrance. Now this is considered an Arab perfume and is also classified as a fruity floral type fragrance. I do believe that this fragrance was launched in 2013, so it has been around for quite a while now. I really like that with this fragrance you have two options. You have the perfume option which comes in a 1.65 fluid ounce bottle, which is this one. I'm pretty sure this is the only perfume size that they have. And you could also get it in a perfume oil as well, which I really want to try the oil in the future. The top notes of this fragrance include black currant, rose hip, and pink pepper. In the middle notes, there's raspberry, blackberry, and white lily. And in the base, there's white musk and vanilla. So let me go ahead and give this a spray and let you guys know what it smells like. As soon as you spray this fragrance, it is just a complete bomb of juiciness. The raspberry and the blackberry notes really stand out in this fragrance. You don't really get too many of the vanilla notes. And in my opinion, in the base, I don't really even smell too much of the white musk. When everything dries down on your skin, to me it smells more like a sandalwoody type note. And then that juicy fruitiness really lasts throughout the time that you're wearing this fragrance, which was really shocking to me because this is not an expensive fragrance at all. You can get the perfume for about $10 on Amazon and you could get the fragrance oil for about $9 on Amazon as well. And you guys, as always, I will have both the perfume and the body oil linked in my Amazon storefront below so you guys can pick it up and try it out for yourselves. I seriously feel like this fragrance is worth it and it is an amazing quality fragrance, especially for the price. I've had this fragrance for about six months now and sometimes I'll just apply it just like a little body spray and it just smells so juicy and fruity and fresh. I don't really have too many fragrances in my collection that have really juicy raspberry type notes in them or even blackberry notes and sometimes when fragrances do have those notes in them they have a lot of other heavier notes that kind of overpower it and the fruitiness really never stays too long on your skin. But that is not the case with this at all. It stays on your skin for a very long time. I would say that this is more of a lighter type scent. Like I mentioned earlier, I apply this like a body spray so you can really be heavy handed with it. And that's also another reason why I want to get the body oil and kind of like wear the two. So maybe I would be able to wear this just a little bit longer. But I seriously love this. It is so beautiful. And it's really sparkly and effervescent. Y'all, I did find out about this fragrance on TikTok. It was just like one of those little carousel type videos. And the channel was showing pretty much like the best raspberry type scents or like juicy fruity scents. So I saw Tootie Musk and then I was just like, Amazon has everything. So I immediately went on Amazon and looked it up and I was able to find it. And when I saw the price, I jumped on it immediately. I was just like, okay, it's $10. If it smells nasty, it's not like I paid like a ton of money and it smells awful. When I purchased it though, I really wasn't expecting too much even because a lot of times when people advertise a fragrance to be on the juicier side or they really highlight the more juicy fruity notes in the fragrance, you get it. And it really doesn't smell too much like that at all. So my hopes weren't very high. But y'all, as soon as I opened this box and smelled this fragrance, I fell in love with it immediately. Like I was very satisfied, very happy with it. And even though there's sandalwood in this fragrance, on my skin, once it dries down, I feel like it has more of an amber type scent to it as far as like the base notes. But this is so beautiful. I'm so happy that I have it in my collection. This is also a nice fragrance if you're about to go to sleep but you like to smell like something before you go to bed. You could just spray this on you after you get out of the shower. 
and it smells really good but it can also be kind of light at the same time so it won't be too overpowering before you go to sleep. I have layered this fragrance with my Nemat Amber Oil and the Amber Perfume and those smell amazing together. So if you guys have that in your collection and you pick this up, the combination together, oh, that combination together is just out of this world. And I really think you're going to love it. You can wear this fragrance in the fall and winter if you like. If you just want to add a little juiciness to your more gourmand scents. But I mainly feel like this fragrance will work way better in the spring and summer months because it's so juicy and bright and fresh. It literally just smells like fresh berries. And I think that this will smell really good if you're like going to the beach or something or going to a nice little summer brunch or just doing something really outdoorsy like in the warmer months. If I had to rate this fragrance between 1 and 10, I would probably give this about a 7.5 because I love the way that this smells. It's very simple, but another part of me does wish that it was a little bit stronger. But as I mentioned earlier, they do have this in an oil form. So I am going to go ahead and pick up the oil and see if that one would last longer because usually oils do last longer and they have better projection on your skin as well. So you guys, that was my review of Tutti Musk by Al Rahab. If any of you guys have tried this fragrance, let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. I hope that you really enjoyed this video and as always, I hope to see all of you guys next time. Bye.